Welcome to Madden QB Battle Royale, where all 32 NFL starting QBs have been dropped off by the battle boss into the map. Throughout this Battle Royale game, there will be challenges where every QB will compete in the same exact challenge. Pass that challenge and you're still alive on the map. And for those who don't accomplish the challenge, the storm is approaching and will be taking players out of the map. And this will continue until there's one quarterback remaining and they will earn the Victory Royale. And for challenge number one, each quarterback will have to complete their first pass. So we begin with Tyson Bajan of the Chicago Bears. Every quarterback will face this Cowboys defense to make it fair and Bajan on his first pass attempt as he gives that one to DeAndre Swift will not count whenever he drops back to pass if it's incomplete or he's sacked you will be eliminated you have to complete your first pass and I do understand if you are sacked that doesn't technically count as a pass attempt but he did drop back to pass and he's going empty formation this is it he has the updated rosters he just has to throw a screen he connects with Cole commit it doesn't matter it's a five-yard pass and Tyson Bajan is alive in BR let's see if Joe Burrow will stay alive here he's one of the favorites obviously to win this whole thing top three to five quarterback in the league today and Joe Burrow here's a pass if you get sacked that is it Burrow and Burrow it's broken up Joe Burrow is gonna go into the storm and get eliminated for Allen and Burrow to be knocked out back to back would be huge Josh Allen though Shakir holds on to the football it wasn't even really that much of a positive game but again doesn't matter Jared Stidham for the Broncos now like Tyson Bajan of the Bears this might not be their starting quarterback when the season rolls around but it is their starter at the moment so we'll see what he can do third and two are we gonna to see pass or another run out of this Broncos offense there's play action here it is Stidham he's going deep and that one's incomplete and he's gone Deshaun Watson of the Browns has a plethora of weapons here in Joku Amari Cooper a new Jerry Judy Elijah Moore let's see what he can do with that he's got time to throw he completes his pass I believe that is going to be Jerry Judy welcome to the team will he complete it to his man Mike Evans he's got Godwin he's got weapons Mayfield pressure coming incomplete he's gone Kyler Murray doesn't have a lot of good weapons at the moment in Arizona they might draft Marvin Harrison we'll see and he's sacked on his first drop back attempt by Demarcus Lawrence and see you later Kyler third and two for Justin Herbert new head coach but he lost a lot of weapons lost Keenan lost Mike Williams Will it matter for Justin Herbert across his body? And it does as it's broken up. No way Patrick Mahomes gets eliminated to start this battle royale, will he? We're going to see right here. First play. He's throwing and he dropped it. Who was he looking for? I believe Justin Watson and Mahomes is going to be gone here. Richard Simley pass here. It's going to be play action. He's got plenty of time. He's going to try to run. Is that a sack? That is going to count as a sack for Parsons. It's a loss of six, and there goes Richardson. This Battle Royale map is already down to 25 quarterbacks with the Storm claiming seven already. And one mini thing I forgot to mention is when you see these quarterbacks on the BR map, if they have any sort of headgear on, it has the New York Giants logo. That's because it's my favorite team in the game, and for some reason, it applies to every single team when you go to take these quarterback headshots. Back to action now, and Marcus Mariota for the time being is the starting quarterback for the Commanders. What Mariota wants to do here comes pressure he's sacked by demarcus lawrence he's been terrorizing qbs let's see a dak versus your own defense he will throw dak looking for i believe that is jalen tolbert who makes an unbelievable grab and dak stays alive in the br let's see Tua's first pass he will throw on first down What's he going to do? Tua going deep. Looking for Tyree Kill, and it's broken up. So we got the new look Eagles offense with Saquon Barkley. All Hurts has to do is a two-yard pass, and he's got a man, and Jalen Hurts stays alive. Kirk Cousins in Atlanta. New team for Captain Kirk. And we'll see Cousins going deep. That's going to be P.I., so I don't think that's actually going to count as a pass attempt. He'll get one more shot. Kirk, who got intercepted, but with the P.I. call, gets a second chance. Now, this is it. Cousins is picked. Welcome to Atlanta. Brock Purdy's turn for the San Francisco 49ers. And let's see if Purdy can move on to the next round. Here it is. Play action pass. Purdy pressure. Pressure. And he's taken down. He is sacked by Parsons. Daniel Jones has not been great for my team. The Giants with the real NFL. But let's see if he can win us this Battle Royale tournament. Don't get sacked by Parsons. You do that enough in real life. And he actually completes the pass to Jalen Hyatt. And that is going to allow Daniel Jones to survive. This Cowboys defense has been performing very well in this video. I do have to say that. They've taken out a lot of quarterbacks already. Elite ones as well. Here's Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence stepping up in the pocket. That will not be a sack, but also not a pass attempt. Though he can still throw another. Third and 11, we will finally see a pass attempt for Trevor Lawrence. Let's see what he can do. No way they're giving it to ETN. He just had a full drive without one singular pass attempt. That was unbelievable. 
Backed up to the eight yard line now. Will he throw? Finally, Trevor Lawrence, get a pass. All that for like a two yard completion to Kirk or a four yard completion, but he does move on. And after last year's season, Aaron Rodgers, you gotta move on in this battle royale for the New York Jets franchise. The fans need you to do it. He goes empty first play, and he's taken down by Demarcus Lawrence. And again, Aaron Rodgers out early. Looking back at the map, 12 quarterbacks have been eliminated from battle royale with 20 remaining. Goff on third and eight's gonna go empty, so we're gonna get some sort of pass here. Goff. Here comes Lawrence again. Him and Parsons have been terrorizing QBs. Jordan Love had a great first year as a starter for the Packers, and he beat this Cowboys defense in the playoffs, so they're going to get the revenge. Or is Jordan Love going to get rid of the ball? He fumbles. Jordan Love fumbles, and he's gone. Bryce Young, last year's number one overall pick. He will pass. Bryce feels the pressure. Let's go with it, and it's incomplete. Let's see it on third and nine here. Let's see what he's going to be doing. Brissett going empty. He's got time. Here comes Demarcus Lawrence. He's unstoppable. Gardner Minshew, another quarterback that we don't know 100%, will be the starter for the Raiders next year. And it's broken up, and he'll be gone. Someone's got to complete a pass. We're on like a streak of four or five quarterbacks without a completing a pass against this Cowboys defense. Let's see if a Super Bowl champion of Matthew Stafford can do that. Stafford, he completes a pass to his tight end, and he will move on. For Lamar Jackson, this team actually got great field position. I guess they got a turnover on the Cowboys when the game started, but Lamar, the 26, just completed a pass, and the MVP is moving on. That's two quarterbacks in a row that have completed a pass. Will Derek Carr be three in a row? Just go to Kamara. He's wide open. No, he instead will go to Shahid, who holds on to the ball, and Carr moves on as well. Geno Smith for the Seahawks in a third and 11, and Geno pressured, taken down by Parsons and company. Let's see it, Ross. Your first pass attempt. Pickens. Doesn't matter if it's a completion of two yards. Ross moves on. Third and two. I'm fully expecting Stroud to throw. Where will he go? He will go to his tight end. Dalton Schultz, former Cowboy, holds on to the ball, and Stroud's alive. Will Levis set. Second and 12 against this Cowboys defense. Will this be the throw? Yes, it will be. And he gets someone to Pollard. Quick dump to the running back. We'll move him on to the next round. And we finish off this complete a pass challenge with Sam Darnold, who will pass, who is getting pressured, who is getting sacked by who else? Demarcus Lawrence. And after one battle royale challenge so far, the Storm has claimed 19 quarterbacks, leaving us with 13. And these are the 13 quarterbacks remaining. So let's continue. For challenge number two, it's a bit more head to head. We have the furthest throw challenge with all 13 quarterbacks. The eight with the furthest throws will move on. So here we go with Josh Allen. He's getting us started. Now, the only thing is I have to take control of these quarterbacks. I'll be throwing it from the goal line with every single quarterback. That way, it's the same thing. But we have Stephon Diggs. I'm going to let him go all the way down the field. That way, the ball will have to go to him. And we're going to throw to Diggs now. And let's see where that lands from the goal line. And that looks like it hit the 20 for maybe 80 yards from Allen. And that ball traveled about 79 and a half yards. We got Deshaun Watson up next. And we have Amari Cooper going downfield. That back foot is at the goal line. And now Watson will let it go. He might have stepped a little bit past the goal line, but it doesn't matter too much. That's going to happen with everybody. Let's see where it landed. That landed at the 26-yard line, so a 74-yard throw. Okay, Dak Prescott up next. CD Lamb is downfield. This is a good throw by Dak. That's probably just where Watson put it. So a little bit shorter than Watson as he goes 73 and a half yards at the 26 and a half yard line. All right, Jalen Hurts up next. He's going to let it fly. That's going to get over 70 just barely. We got Derek Carr of the Saints now going deep for Shahid. And that's going to be about 75. Rookie of the year, CJ Stroud with Nico Collins going deep. Let's just move back a little bit. And Stroud going to let it fly. And Stroud is going to go about 74. Stroud actually only goes 72 and a half yards. We got Will Levis of the Tennessee Titans now. Hopkins all the way down there. That's a really good throw. Well over 75 for Levis. We got Daniel Jones of the Giants. He's going deep. That one gets over 70, but we'll see. Tyson Bajan of the Bears could have a Cinderella run in this battle. Okay, yeah, that is not going to be good. Less than 70. Pressure's on now. It's on Russell Wilson to deliver this ball downfield for the Steelers. That's a good throw by Russ. That might get to 75. Now it's time for the MVP, Lamar Jackson. Let's see, Lamar, what did you get? Lamar over 75. Matthew Stafford always has a rocket arm in this type of challenge. Matthew Stafford... How far does he go? 
He gets over 75, I think just barely. And we finish the furthest throw with Trevor Lawrence, who needs to go over Dak Prescott's score. And Trevor Lawrence, we gotta see. Dak Prescott threw for 73 and a half yards where Trevor Lawrence got over 75. The storm has caught up to Bajan, Dak, Hurts, Stroud, and Daniel Jones as we're left with eight quarterbacks in Battle Royale. And we are down to our final eight quarterbacks. With eight quarterbacks remaining, I am going to simulate a full NFL season with every new team in the league. Then we will take the top four passer rating quarterbacks and move them into the final four. Josh Allen led all eight quarterbacks quarterbacks in passer rating with a 119.8. Following up Josh Allen in second place is last year's MVP Lamar Jackson with a 115.6 rating. We head to Cleveland where Deshaun Watson was the third highest passer rating with a 102.2. And the fourth highest quarterback with a 101.4 passer rating for the New Orleans Saints is Derek Carr. As for the other four quarterbacks, Trevor Lawrence was next closest up with a 100 passer rating. Then you have to go down the list to get the Russell Wilson and Matthew Stafford back to back around an 85 passer rating and then you go down to a 78 passer rating for Will Levis. The Storm has claimed four more quarterbacks as we're left to our final four. And now at this point the circle is closing in. We are just about at the final circle here and we're going to have a tug of war battle with all four quarterbacks. It'll be head to head. Now how does tug of war work? I am going to start each quarterback at the 50 yard line. They'll each have three plays to make it as far down the field as they can. The top two with the furthest drive or touchdown will move on. Josh Allen and the Bills will be up first. And James Cook! It doesn't matter if Allen scores the touchdown. James Cook did not actually get in. But if Josh Allen conducts a touchdown drive, it counts. But that was play number one. Allen has two more plays. If he gets in the end zone, that's huge. But already to the 16 is a good start of tug of war. Now he's going to hit his tight end, Dawson Knox, who will pick up a few more. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And now second and seven from the 13-yard line. Allen will throw again. He's looking end zone, and he's got Dalton Kincaid. It's a touchdown for Josh Allen in tug of war. Now it's last year's MVP's turn. Lamar Jackson with Derrick Henry in the backfield. Again, three plays. Josh Allen found the end zone. Derrick Henry, a huge run. And Derrick Henry going to get inside the 15, breaking tackles for the Ravens. Unbelievable first two runs from each team. James Cook with the Bills, and now Derrick Henry with the Ravens. And Lamar also finds the end zone. The pressure is on for Watson and Carr. Well, Derrick Carr needs to find the end zone now. Anything less is an automatic elimination from the Battle Royale. And let's see, is Kamara going to have a great first run too? Not bad, but he got seven or six yards there. Derek Carr, got to find the end zone. Need a chunk play here. Carr has time. Over the middle, broken up. It's got to be the end zone here for Carr. Third and four. It's a play action. He's going for a deep pass to Shaheed, and Shaheed gets to the 23. A pretty good performance, but not good enough. So Deshaun Watson needs to find the end zone as well here in tug of war. So he needs a good first play. He'll start off with a pass. He's got a man, Amari Cooper. He might go. He is in. It's a touchdown, Amari Cooper. And because Josh Allen scored a touchdown in three plays, Lamar did it in two. Watson does it in one. Allen is eliminated from Battle Royale. Wow, Deshaun Watson to Amari Cooper for a one play touchdown. It's the final circle. It's Watson and Lamar Jackson, the final two. And these two quarterbacks are going one-on-one -on -one for the victory royale in the Super Bowl. And here we go. It is the Super Bowl. Doesn't matter. It's two AFC North teams. We are treating it as the battle royale final circle. Who wins the Super Bowl? We'll get the victory royale. And we're going to watch the first drive for both Watson and Lamar. That one play touchdown for tug of war might not be anything in the Super Bowl here as it's going to be fourth down down for the Browns. Could be a quick drive for Lamar Jackson as well as it's third and four at his own eight. But Lamar gonna throw. Broken tackle by Bateman who picks up the first. Quickly back to third down though for Lamar Jackson. This could be a defensive game. Both teams have really good defenses but Lamar the MVP missed Mark Andrews for a big gain. And now we are gonna see who strikes first. Lamar's team gets the first score. And the Browns still with no points on the board. It's 10-0. It is 13-0. 
who has the ball here. I think it's going to be Lamar trying to put more points on the board. Let's jump in. Low scoring game so far, but it's still 13 to nothing Ravens. Lamar Jackson's team is showing up, and there is the MVP on the ground. Lamar Jackson to make it a three possession game. He is in the end zone for a touchdown. You got the Sean Watson trying to drive down this field with about 10 minutes to go. He is driving down the field. We got to jump in. Is this an 11 point game? At worst, this should be a one possession game, and no matter what, if you get the field goal or the touchdown. Let's see what happens here on first and ten. And Joku is wide open. Watson doesn't see him yet. Instead, tried to hit newly acquired Jerry Judy, and he just missed him. So a third and ten here. If they get nothing, they're going to take three and make it an eight-point game. For Deshaun Watson to come back late. That's going to be a run. That's going to be a touchdown. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. Naheem Hines. Welcome to Cleveland with a huge touchdown. The Ravens saw a 21 to nothing lead become a 21 to 18 lead. But they have the run game to end this game. It's a three-yard rush for Derrick Henry. Another first down or two would end this game. Timeouts coming off the board. Third and two. We are jumping in. Third and two. A first down here. Basically, it's victory formation for Lamar Jackson in the final circle. And he gives it to King Henry. And King Henry gets stuffed. Breaks a tackle. It's a first down. But there's an injury timeout to Mark Andrews. So the Browns are still alive. And it's official. A first down. Lamar Jackson will win. And let's see what happens here. Second and inches, Derrick Henry, King Henry, he went backwards, but he gets the first down. And like I said, it is victory formation. Lamar Jackson, the quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens, the two-time MVP, is going to win. And Lamar, with the Lombardi in hand, wins Madden quarterback battle royale. And that'll do it as Lamar Jackson earns his victory royale. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.